How's the running back room picking up? So far, so good, man. We got a few young guys that we're really excited about. Um, three of them actually that are getting some good quality reps. Get to see, get to see exactly what they can do. Sorry, there's a golf cart going by right now. <laughs> but uh, no, the, the room's looking good, man. We got about nine running backs, a big room, pretty much a basketball team, but uh, we're looking good so far. So Malik, how do you feel like he elevated his game? I think the biggest thing with him, and maybe that's more of an off the field thing, not even a, a athletic trait, but his leadership has really improved. Um, I think that's helping him improve as a person and as a player. He really stepped up into that leadership role. He's not that old, but he's kind of the older guy in the room, even though he has a couple years left. Uh, and I think that's really helpful. What would you say are his strengths as a running back? He's electric, man. He's got his really good feet, really good speed. Um, he understands the game. We can have sit there and talk film and talk ball, and he understands what's going on protection-wise. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of things that he can do. There's a lot of things that he can do, and that makes him very valuable for the offense. Yeah, I'm hoping so. He, he's been doing really good so far, just, you know, uh, run game wise and pass pro wise and all that stuff. He's uh, I got no complaints from him right now. Um, I think he can contribute. We'll just have to see everybody's uh, competing right now. I haven't even told Malik whether he's starting or not. They're all competing right now. And looking at the freshmen, what do you see from them? Those guys aren't afraid, man. I think that's the biggest thing. Those dudes came in and they're coming in like they want to be the guy. So. I'm going to let them compete to be the guy. Everybody's competing right now, and they haven't missed a step. They don't look lost out there. They've been doing a great job. How's your day, too? I've seen Charles Schreer have a couple of big runs here and there. How is he grasping the offense? He's doing a good job, man. It's always, you're always curious to see how they do with the jump from high school to college because we get to throwing, you know, 200 signals at them now and boards and personnel and all that stuff, but he's been doing a good job of catching up and learning the offense, and he's been putting in extra time, too, coming to see me, so he really wants to learn and putting in that extra effort. So I saw that he was also getting recruited by Eastern Washington. So yeah. Recruiting him I was recruiting him at Eastern Washington, and then he ghosted me. You know, he ghosted me and stopped talking to me, stopped texting back. So when I got the job at Fresno, I'm, guess who? Oh, yeah, good to see. Hey, big head, it's me. Yeah, so, no, man, so it was good, and I was excited to be able to coach him. And Brandon Ramirez also, I was recruiting him when I was at Eastern, too. So it worked out perfect getting to coach both of those guys, even though I wasn't able to get them at my last gig. So I'm excited to get to work with him here. And then lastly, I know you didn't get to coach Ronnie, but what is it like to have kind of like a legacy family? What does that say about Fresno State? It's awesome. I mean, I think it's really cool. I got a chance to spend some time with uh, with the dad not that long ago at the alumni event. Um, great family. He comes from a great family, but he's been doing a great job, and he's not too far off from those other two.